Happy New Year, my loves. Hope we've all had an amazing festive season. Apologies for the hiatus here. Although unplanned, I truly needed the break. Happy to be back though. And today's project is of this pillow poof cover that I got from Toy Market a while back. And this shade of red and texture of the fabric are what drew me to it. that I then transformed to this stunning dress. So if you'd like to see how I achieve this, then just keep watching. To begin, I cut off the edge of the entire poof. Next, I took one piece and traced my front bodies. I then took the other piece and traced the back bodies with the wrong side facing up, then cut it in half from the center. Next, I drew on darts on the front bodies and proceeded to stitch them down and hemmed the top section of the front and back pieces with my favorite stitch. And this is how they looked. I then took the two back pieces and did loose running stitches. Next I took the front and back pieces and stitched them together, staying keen on my measurements then placed it aside. Next, I traced a skirt on, on one of the remaining pieces and cut it out. I wanted this dress long, so I maintained the initial length of the fabric. I trimmed and straightened the bottom, then used this piece to trace the back piece with the wrong side facing up, ensuring to leave allowance at the middle for zip installation. Next, I cut the middle section open to have two pieces. 
I then took the bodies and opened the sides a bit and pinned these pieces together respectively like so, then stitched them down. I did an overlock on the joints and installed an invisible zip off camera. I then proceeded to stitch the sides down to the bottom of the dress. Next, I hemmed the dress with my favorite pattern stitch and placed it aside. I then took the initial cutout and undid the knots. I cut two strips and ironed them on fold like so, then tucked in the unknotted strip and stitched them in place and pressed them with an iron.
Next, I folded each strip and stitched it down, then stitch the two on the top sides of the dress. I made a third piece of this which will be my choker and with that I was all done. This is the final look which I love and even though I was truly torn with the direction I wanted this piece to take, I'm happy with this particular design. Do share your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Until the next project, I wish you all a great weekend and an amazing and successful year ahead. Bye loves!